Connor Garnett to serve to that man, Jack Sock. Let's play pickleball. And a behind the back clap. There's the Tui. Yeah, there's the Tui. And we're going to say that quite a bit uh, throughout this match as it's one of the best in the game. Look at this cat scamper. I, I, I was about to start talking on that drop volley. My goodness, I can't believe he got there and put it in the kitchen as well. Connor Garnett, uh, great court coverage. Uh, he and, uh, had a little conversation with you about how many backhands. Yeah, we're, we set the line at four uh, for the match backhands from the back of the court, and he didn't want to hit that last one at all. Backed in the corner again and tried to pull the forehand down the line. Nice start from Garnett. And he mentioned one of the things about that Connor Garnett two-handed backhand is he hooks it, meaning he gets on the outside of the ball, which really forces that to the backhand wing of Jack Sox. So we're, we're going to have to monitor the, their, this throughout the match. So there's where you go, well, he's going to be cheating over the other side, so I'll return to the forehand, pay the price. Yeah, it, a reasonable thought process, but uh, it, not, not a lot of great places to go when you move like a gazelle out there. And uh, cannot open the freebie factory, so 2-2. Two, two. Again, this is a quarterfinal. The winner of this will play the winner of Christian Alshon and Casey Campbell, and his hat is back doing damage in singles. sure if it hit the, the lower bar or the one that yeah. extends from the edge, but either way, that is not something you see too often. Incredible spin from Jack Sock. So there was a little discussion about what part it hit. And none of those backhands counted. Uh, and yes, that's right. They were in the front of the court. And who's standing right there by that bar? Don Stanley. So we, we, we know we got the right ruling. Wow. Runs around it to keep the backhand at the baseline count at zero. Yeah, and he hit the kitchen line with side spin moving away from Connor Garnett. My goodness. And he's, he's got a little chuckle on his face as well. He's Connor, don't look over there, no. buddy. Oh my goodness, Jack Sock on the dead run. He is looking all the way up here to see what are we saying about that ridiculous. Yeah, and you, you missed the little hip waggle that he did <laughs> over there after as well. And I mean, you, you can't blame Connor Garnett. He's such a quick competitor. You feel like there's no way. It's a third miss return. Yeah, and that it's definitely in his head. He got away with a couple in that backhand corner and then with Jack's athleticism running around it, he's not quite sure where to put the return right now. And uh, that is not the spot either. Another one of the fear hands. It's 8-2. Yeah, and I would have to guess to keep going to that corner and, and keep trying it out, but I'm, you can tell by the tone of my voice, not very confident. Now it's tried, and I think the depth's missing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's so important uh, location. Definitely a, a second to depth, in my opinion, on those first shot or two of the rally. And middle. He goes middle right there with a little more pace through the court. So uh, a little mini adjustment. Will it be too little too late? Seven point deficit. Yeah, it's sort of a smile that is more of a frown almost there. And I really like that first forehand from Connor Garnett. And that was that was on my notes. We know what we're going to get on the backhand side from him. If he can strike the ball cleanly on the forehand wing, that is a lot for any competitor to handle. Three, 
that is just, that's hitting the court and taking off. Awkward swing from Connor Garnett uh, on his favorite shot. Very hesitant backhand volley, which is another thing you don't usually say. And sock quickly to game point here in this quarterfinal. Fourth miss return. Garnett is looking for answers. He does not appear to have them here today. And sock runs away with game number one. The official ball of the PPA tour. But man, Jack Sock looks good here so far. And that one worked out, but I don't care if Connor misses a couple returns. He has got to put more on it and get more depth uh, because that was just a runner, runaway freight train in game one. And he did have a nice start, was up 2 0 in game one, so just a couple here is huge for Garnett. What a handle of that first volley. That two-hander from Connor Garnett was diving down. Dylan. Well, that's that's one. Yeah. So I said How I said a couple. Two? Yeah, I think I said a couple. Maybe we'll extend a couple to three. To a few? <laughs> a few. <laughs> yes, that sounds perfect. Just remarkable court coverage, and he's got the drop volley with that pal. Uh, he definitely does, and he loves it on the backhand side. I mean, we've seen in his early career five or six of those come back into the net. You just don't see that often, even at the highest level. That's a great volley from Garnett. So let's see if just a little confidence. This is another player that can put a lot of points in a row. He plays at a fast pace when things are going well. There's the first backhand from the baseline. I'm counting that. Yep, that, that definitely counts. And that is uh, what Sock was talking about with, with Garnett getting on the outside of that ball, pushing it fully cross court. Great approach from Connor Garnett. And it just destroyed two-handed backhand cross court. And Garnett looking much more comfortable here. Yeah, and confident and swinging through better. I believe there was an awkward backhand volley at the end of game one that you mentioned. So a cleaner stroke, better contact point early in game two. You do not get extra points for hitting the guaranteed rate sign, and <laughs> no. it's especially shocking off the two-handed backhand. Yeah, he just pulled off of it a little bit. He was down, locked and loaded in perfect position, came out of his stroke at the last second. Jack takes an extended look into the court there, staring a hole in it. Connor was worried about that first ball and didn't get himself in the proper position. Always have to play it as if it's in. A little late break getting over to his left, and it cost him. And, you know, that's the, that's the showtime shot. But I like it better when Sock just rips through with a traditional inside-out forehand. Sometimes he tries to get a little too cheeky, and it does work for him quite a bit, so you can't fault him too much. But when you're playing guys like Connor Garnett and some of these seeds later in the day, you better pick those showtime shots for very specific moments. Yeah, maybe not at 4-2, but at 
8-2 U, so a uh, nice uh, two-point lead here for Garnett. And great footwork to get back so that he could take that ball at the apex. That's so important when you decide to let the ball bounce, to let it come up into your strike zone. Great footwork from Jack Sock. begging to get past. Yeah, I think you just, it has to be middle or, or deep to the to the backhand corner and just hope he doesn't come up with the goods at this point. Three more. That's a nice play. And I, I like to talk about someone who likes their forehand to return to their forehand occasionally. But he's 6'2", he's 6'3", six, six, and he moves so well. Even when he's stepping to his left the wrong way, it still works out for him. Maybe someone similar, like a Tyson McGuffin yeah. or, or myself with a limited wingspan. It's a great play. I just haven't seen it work too often uh, to Jack. And he's, he's looking to run around it every time, too. Very impressive. I mean, there's the nasty dip of the two in the back end from Garnett. That's pretty. Yeah, the, the contact point of Jack Sock is below his knee uh, on that ball. Uh, just so good with pace and spin from Connor Garnett. Free pickleballs to go with it. That's what the deals are available for you. Wow. Just two-handed backhand. Banana ball, as that ball was wide for a good portion of the flight of the ball right until it landed. Great shot from Connor. Uh, that's a ridiculous volley. <laughs> very good, very good. And if you were that, that previous two-handed backhand, I'm talking to Connor, he's got a new YouTube channel, and he, talk, he loves to talk about oh. the two-hander. So check that out, guys. Yeah, he's, he said, I'm going to show you the two-y. All right, do it, man. Oh, stays back. And lives to tell about it. Yeah, wow. wild stuff uh, uh, throughout that point. And Jack almost got there, but Connor Garner hit the perfect ball up the line. Love that charge in there. He got he got himself set. All his momentum was forward. Great topspin forehand up the line, and then following it forward just in case Jack was going to come up with that volley. Very impressive, both mentally and physically here for Garnett, because game one did not end well, and here he is up three. fake of the drop shot in the middle of that. Yeah, and that's something. You got him charging up, looking for that. Then you play a couple deep, and that opens the, the drop shot back up. So, I mean, he's a veteran. He's a court sense. Maybe not in the pure game of pickleball, but in the, the racket sports, paddle sports, he, he's locked in. He knows where to be. He knows what shots to hit. And, uh, you know, we've seen that throughout uh, the first few tournaments of 2024. All right, so there's two of the few right there. Took a big guess there. I think if you know I had that frame and that footwork, I probably would not guess as much, but he was looking for the, the ball up the line, and that's not where it went. Big opportunity lost for Garnett as that was a short cross-court return to that YouTube channel too, and he didn't <laughs> make it. <laughs> And he's in the air on that forehand. He does not have any point of contact on the ground. So to come up with the quality volley, for, let's take a maybe a little bit there. But still, it's an interesting technique. We know about the flying two-hander, but he can do it on the on the forehand side as well. Yeah, it looked like when the receiver jumps for no reason in football there. His hands and sock definitely looking to return quite a few to the Garnet forehand. It's been up to the task the last few minutes. Just wide. Almost two there. He was kind of scrambling to get there, and he was 
You're, you're fast, Connor. You can just kind of yeah. settle your feet and hit a better shot than that. a ridiculous angle from Sock, and that was more like what you've been asking for. Exactly. That's the full top spin. There's no, he, he likes to put the side spin on it and go for a little higher degree of difficulty. And, and that is just the traditional whip through inside out forehand and a very good one. That is pretty court coverage and a beautiful pass from that man, the Santa Clara Bronco, Connor Garnett. What a great scrap of game one. Just dump it and just come out on fire mentally in game two. Impressive. That's a great volley from Sock. Anytime you're forcing your opponent to slap at it with, yeah. with backspin or, or uh, that cut shot, uh, you have done your job. So using the tennis, uh, goes to the towel box for a second there, <laughs> does Mr. Sock. Wow. I think that just caught. Jack was thinking that can't possibly stay in, can it? But it did. Yeah, looking over at the North Carolina box, and no one had good news for no. him over there. <laughs> Tried to hit a winner on the return just a little wide. You run out of real estate. It's just 20 by 44. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna take and I challenge if that would arise. Couldn't help himself there. Yeah, show, showman at heart. Uh, he really couldn't, as it was like a walking. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. He would have definitely been called for traveling in the NBA, <laughs> and here we have a game point. And a one-handed backhand, and Jack is just going to head to the to the couch there. So you, you turn. <laughs> so impressive, Connor. Step up his game because Connor Connor Garnett certainly has here. Just, just inside the line. Yeah, and we, we got a great interview from Ben Johns a few tournaments ago talking about attacking the body in mixed because the guy takes so much court. That can also be a factor in singles, but I'm not sure Sock is the guy to attack on the body. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of those backhands yeah. today. Yeah, those, those hands really came in and got inside of the ball tailing away. He's so good at that top spin shot. Uh, that flight of the ball definitely a little different not going on the YouTube channel that one right there there it is that's the hook that is the hook around the ball even Jack Sock late clearing his body to find his contact point great return from Garnett Waves the Cobra in just the right amount of pace. Yeah, it was perfect, perfect pace because Connor was not sure whether to bounce it or take it out of the air. He kind of jabbed at it at the last second unsuccessfully. Oh my, Garnett signals touchdown, just getting the return <laughs> back and getting a miss. Self-talk to himself after that two backhands up the line early in game three, not going Connor Garnett's way. Just wide again. So you take a mental note, that's now three out of Yeah, it is. And yeah, Jack has to take a mental note himself.
got there and can't believe he didn't make it. Yeah, the, the look on his face sometimes when he misses <laughs> those forehands is pretty priceless. But much better footwork on the first two uh, when, when he went inside out with the forehand. Couldn't come up with the last one, though. See if he can get through. So the winner of Grandstand plays the winner on center. I don't think there's any way that was staying in. Yeah, he, he kind of took a look at the court afterwards. I mean, maybe sometimes the court coverage is too good and it costs you because uh, I, I would have certainly let that one bounce. So Jack called the timeout and actually has hurt his own momentum. Missed overhead, missed return. Stay back and it worked. And the stay back <laughs> worked. I'm just a little irritated, so I'm going to stay back and just rip four hands until I get the ball back. And uh, that was the antidote. Wow, it had to go lefty because the violence of the two handed backhand swinging volley is unbelievable. Yeah, there, there's no mid pace. There's no uh, pushing the ball or guiding the ball when he when he hits that two hander all the way through. Just whips through the zone so nicely, Connor Garnett. Jack showing where that it's like kicked up like a rolling arrows on him there, which doesn't usually happen with pickleball. Yeah, he's staying back and picking opportunities to come forward and he had a pretty solid look at that last forehand volley and did not get it over the tape. That is brilliant on the run. And when you, when you whip through cross court so well, it only has to be slightly above average when you decide to go up the line, and that's what that shot was, and it was very effective for Connor. Yeah, after missing the first three in this game, too, so nice job by Garnett. And Garnett is dictating and up four as we will switch ends. I am impressed. What a build from Connor Garnett from that start. I mean, he has literally played better and better all the way through this match after a five-minute game one. I mean, Jack cannot believe he got to the first one. Yeah, I don't think Jack is going to tire Connor Garnett no. out. <laughs> but he sure tried to as up and back, up and back, had him on the string during that point. Yeah, that's, that, that's that halfway up the net one. And you're just kind of wondering, the guy is playing clean and crisp. What happened right there to force uh, such, a, such a bad error? something there and it might have been the carryover from the long run from the point before these things do get cumulative sometimes so we'll see Jack nods his head that caught the line yeah, nods his head in approval to Solid backhands from Connor Garnett, and then that wing I talked about, the one that sometimes break down, not breaking down right now. Beautiful little short end. We've seen a lot of that in singles. Out. Yeah, and uh, top spin drop shots are really kind of a thing, and they certainly weren't a few years ago, but you're seeing it more and more. The slice and the top spin, if you can create that angle, pays dividends. Jack 
to go back across, and Garnett is very happy that caught the net. I'm not sure he was there. Yeah, well, it would have been interesting to see what would have happened had it gone over, but it does not, as you said. And Connor Garnett just plugging away, maintaining a solid lead throughout game three. to the one-hander again, and of course, going to the one-hand slice. It's a great shot for Jack Sock, but the one-handed drive from the back of the court, I don't, don't think that's the play. Just wide, and man, the spin on that from Garnett, that was nasty. I mean, that was going in. Yes. In that position, not only the pace of that return, but the spin moving off the court, uh, to get around that ball and give it a chance was a great effort from Connor Garnett. Serve just deep and he cannot challenge it. And the referee's not seeing it well enough to make a call on that ball. Ball back over to Connor. Oh, and clips off the tape and wide. So tough coming out of the timeout. Missed serve, missed forehand wide, and all the momentum with Connor on that. Gave him a freebie back. Friendly match these last few points. That does stay in, so will that be the catalyst? Yeah, and there's been a couple full leaves from Connor Garnett, and they have not gone out. So he's questioning whether to take a few of those volleys out of the air. He pulls the paddle back, and they're just dropping in. Doing it backhand, but an easy volley for Garnett. Two points from moving on. I mean, he's he's swinging at that ball while looking at yes. the line. <laughs> I don't know how he even made contact. Yeah, after a great middle approach and then the floaty forehand from Connor Garnett. You said it, Dave. You have to put that in play. And you really, you should be doing damage. Right? <laughs> the crowd loves that, so uh, he'll give it to him. He wished he would have done that with the backhand on the <laughs> one before that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, we see. It doesn't matter what the score line is, who he's playing. He, he is playing his style, and he is, for the most part, enjoying himself out there. Love to see it. Well, it's, you you got to worry when he steps around it about that inside-out dipper. And that was just, an, I would say, a solid forehand from him, and that caused the air uh, because uh, Connor Garnett is thinking about that inside-out forehand. Very short return. They're debating the size of the fish that they both <laughs> caught there. <laughs> Jack goes, I don't, I don't know if it was that far out, right. but it clearly hit the blue, not the white or the. What, what, what color would you say the inside of the court is? What is that? Gray. Grayish gray. Yeah, gray. Gray. Let's go gray. I like, I like gray. Nine seven. Nine seven. Wow, miss return, and we are at match point. Do it. It's 
the YouTube channel to me, and it is the one that is the walk-off here in Garnett Rallies. Drops game one now. He's got fist bumps for everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Connor Garnett comes roaring back and takes this quarterfinal in three. He is moving on to the semis. And the Santa Clara Bronco is kind enough to stand by here with us. Connor, Dave here, congratulations on the win. Game one was not pretty. How did you find the mental fortitude to find your best stuff and move on here in the tournament? Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, grinding the three sets in all my matches so far, so I was ready for another battle. Jack's going to come out with that forehand and just do some damage. So I was just in survival mode a little bit, trying to weather that storm, hopefully get a few opportunities, got a few lucky bounces, got some momentum, and uh, just try to hold on to that for the rest of the match. Hey, Connor, Adam Stone here. Great playing out there. Way to finish it in style with that patented two-handed backhand. I caught up with you before the match. You mentioned you got a new YouTube channel. Tell me one or two things about that backhand that is so good for you. Yeah, I mean, the two-handed backhand, I just really came from tennis, started out batting lefty, and that's what got into it. And uh, the finger on the back of the paddle is uh, something that I really preach on that and then just staying low. I think the two things people know about me are I get way too low on the court, and I use that left finger on the backhand. So that's really what helps me hit that shot. Well, you also cover every last inch of the 20 by 44, Connor Garnett. We have seen men's singles just be crazy this year. It is a fight no matter who's in the draw. We see a lot of the tennis college guys coming in here. What would you tell all these guys that have sort of an eye on pickleball from their tennis career? How do they get going into this sport? Yeah, I mean, I think singles is the most one-to-one -one with tennis. Uh, the passing shots from tennis translate well, so getting out there, shortening everything on the shots, and, I mean, pickleball's here to stay. It's a ton of fun. It's growing, so get involved. You'll probably get hooked pretty quickly. Well, Connor, uh, you were hooking that backhand, and you are moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations on an impressive victory. We'll see you later this afternoon. Connor Garnett. Thank you.